Hello, Lauren, team. How did that um, meeting that you had uh, go with that IWS the other day? In Atlanta? Yes. Uh, went great. It was the International Woodworking Fair. I did a presentation uh, about the house, the houses that we built, the three previous houses that we built for Homerama. We talked Ooh. about you know building a house full of design solutions and building the house around design solutions. So, it you know these are closet company owners that are, can't even fathom doing something like that. Hey, you were a, you were one of the keynote speakers, man. Absolutely, that's yeah, awesome, yeah. man. Dude, that was kind of cool. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. yes. Representing closet that's factory, right, man. man. Representing uh, closet factory. Very cool. So hey, on that note, we are uh, installing today the lovely and talented Hunter Thomas. Oh, really? Yes. Her space. Um, she's and very of course, particular. She's very particular. Yes, she is. Hmm. She's, you know, she's our, our producer for the show. And um, we've kind of turned the tables on her. And she's <laughs> agreed uh, we're doing a space for her in a room over garage. And uh, there are knee walls. Um, you know, Carol's been working with her on the design. There's a lot of uh, obstructions in there, so it's really a challenging space. And she's very demanding, actually, about how she works. I thought we were supposed to do something for her a Just while as long back. as she has lunch for us. She moved. She moved. She moved. Yes, yeah. yeah, she moved from Norfolk to Virginia Beach. So she's oh, so the, show, so the show's doing great. Show's doing so she great. Moved. I think maybe she got a promotion. I don't know. Obviously, she's doing better. I think she's okay. Yeah. We're doing this, this space for, and Carol has been working on the designs. And uh, a lot of detail to it. Like I said, knee walls, there's windows, there's doors, there's a lot of obstructions in there. This looks like a little apartment. I, know, I, I think, she, I think <laughs> she's got it set up um, to where she can live up there. Yeah, actually. Oh, that's cool. She's got a bed yeah. here, and a bed platform, a desk. So we want to impress her. She sees our work all the time, of course, and now it's nice to be able to do a job for her. Mm -hmm. And I'm, now, I'm excited about that. So we treat her like a client. Treat her like we a client. We just ask her not to come in until we. Let's That's do right. Work. Don't let her come in. Right. Until we're done. Until it's done. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Any All questions? Right. Nope. No. We're, we're ready to go. Okay. Let's roll. Yeah. We'll do it. Let's take care of Hunter. Hi, I'm Carol DeBacco, design consultant with Closet Factory. Uh, today we're here to design a space for Hunter Thomas, who's the producer of the show. It's a very unique space, with lots of weird angles and obstructions that we had to work around. Uh, so there was challenges with that. And Hunter had very big plans for the space, um, some of which we were not able to incorporate just because of the size of it. A lot of clients think that we can get a lot into a space and they think it's this big when it's actually only this big. So just to walk you around the space a little bit, um, we're starting here with a taller cabinet just to take advantage of the height that we have here. Um, this cabinet will be the same color as the desk just to kind of tie the two together again. Uh, then going around the space, we're going to have a counter height. It's going to be a cabinet here with doors. And then all of the drawers over here are going to be lateral file drawers. So we'll have an open L shelf again, just so that it matches this side. I'm all about balance. So once we get past the L shelves, we're going to have a surface that'll act kind of as a, an end table. You'll be able to put a lamp or a drink or something on it. Uh, and then here in this area, we're going to of course have the desk and it will be open. She wanted light to come through so it doesn't, nothing darkens the space. There will be bookshelves on the back side of it, so she'll be able to store her binders uh, and those sort of things that she's working on. Uh, some of the challenges we had to work with, um, the very first thing that you'll notice is the slant of the ceilings. Um, we had to allow space to be able to walk through comfortably and obstructions like outlets and attic access space, um, air intake vents, uh, of course windows, and then some of the things that she wanted to bring into the space. 
So the first thing we encountered was an air duct. Of course, we have to have air circulating through it, so I had to have something designed that air could still circulate, so it had to be open. I couldn't have anything closed, no drawers or doors in front of it. Um, and then as we work around, of course, we've got the slope, so I can only go so high um, with, the, with the cabinetry, but I needed to put it at a height that would be work surface. Desk height is usually finishes around 30 inches, so I needed to be able to finish it at least that 30 inches. Um, outlets we can work around, they'll be inside the cabinet. We will provide grommets, which is an access hole for the outlet, so she'll still be able to use the outlets. You just won't see the outlet. Uh, the next thing we encounter were the attic access. I didn't want a break in the, in the surface, so after some design challenges, we have decided to make a top that will actually be cut to fit It'll slide in and out so when they need to access it, they can still access it. Um, and when they don't, of course, the top will be there and she'll have continuous work surface. Um, working around, you can see that the, the ceiling actually goes up a little bit and then we have the window. A um, Couple things with that, Hunter initially had a bed up here, so we the first design round was working around an actual twin bed. Um, as the process went along, things changed like they always do, and twin bed eventually changed to a sofa. Um, so we had to incorporate that into the space. Um, there is a TV going in here eventually too, so we had to work around that. Um, there was an, another attic access on the wall over here. Uh, we've decided to, because it took away from some of the space that we needed, they decided to close it up. Um, and if they ever needed to reaccess access again, they could down the road. But for now, it's closed up and we've incorporated the desk here. The desk posed a challenge as well because we had to, of course, walk through here without bumping our heads. Um, that went through a few changes. Initially, when I designed it, I brought it out too far and we had another leg that was coming this way. After we taped it out on the floor, we found out that that's not gonna work. Um, so again, the design changed based on Remeasurements and just coming back out and looking at the space again. Once we've got the basic function for the space down and we've taken care of all the needs that we needed to, the next part of the process is typically picking out the uh, materials themselves. Um, in this case, Hunter wanted something a little bit more modern, contemporary feel. She didn't want anything too traditional. Uh, we ended up choosing sheer linen and um, vintage Rio. They're two totally contrasting colors, one's on the light side and one's on the really dark side. Um, so we, we used them in different ways, but we tied it all together. So I think I hear Nick pulling up, so I'm gonna get out of the way so he can get busy and we'll touch base later on today. My name is Hunter Thomas. I am the producer for Closet Factory's television show, Operation Reorganization, and today I'm a Closet Factory client. I recently moved in with my boyfriend, Stuart, um, and he has what's called a frog, which I didn't know this, but that means family room over a garage, and he has basically given it to me. He said, it's yours, it's your office. We both work from home, so we, I definitely needed an office space. He has one. As my job um, as the producer for Closet Factory's television show, Operation Reorganization, um, I often deal with uh, lots of paperwork, um, scripts and edit decision lists. So what I find that I need is lots of horizontal surfaces so I can spread out the paperwork and the scripts and the storyboards and things like that. So Carol has designed it so I will have lots of horizontal surface, um, lots of storage space um, for lateral files. The room has a weird angled ceiling so the tall file cabinets, uh, they just were not going to work. So we went lateral, which I love, um, lots of that. I also wanted space for my books, so there's some bookcases that will be built. Obviously needed a desk. Um, and then we'll have some drawers 
regular drawers like for pens, paper, storage, and all that. Place for a printer. Then there's also two, um, what they call tall, I think long hangs, but they're like a modified long hang just because of that weird ceiling for tripods. <laughs> I'm nervous on a couple of levels um, because I'm used to being on the other side of the camera and I'm not used to obviously not being their client. Um, but the excitement definitely overshadows any sort of fear or ambivalence I might have about any, any of this. Um, super, super excited and I trust them implicitly because I've seen what they can do over the years. I'm here at uh, Hunter Thomas house today. I'm going to be installing uh, an office unit. Uh, a lot of top, like a lot of desktop space and um, a lot of drawers and everything. And you know they sent the the best and the fastest guy. They didn't want to have Warner Mike out here. I want to make sure it gets done in a timely manner. So I'm gonna go get started. start in both these corners and build the L-shaped sections first and then I'll work out from there. So I just finished up building like pretty much the main structure of this section. All I got left is uh, the trim and the backsplashes and putting the drawers in. And now I'm about to hop back over here and uh, try to finish leveling and attaching it. Hi, I'm Jen Alex. Welcome to my home. 
Recently, Closet Factory did some amazing work in my closets. Jacinta was my salesperson and she put together a phenomenal living situation for me and my family. So two closets, one for my daughter, six years old, one for my son, nine years old, drawers with storage, bars for hanging, valet bar option, which was a complete surprise at the end. Storage was a huge requirement for me because everything was in chaos. I had toys everywhere. I had clothes that got stuffed into the hamper or the back of the closet. It was two weeks later I found dirty underwear. You know, so I needed something where the kids could handle a great deep drawer at their perfect height and just seemed to really help me put that together so it was workable, reachable, and easy for me to organize and get it done. So for my son, that was a little bit more of a challenge. We're talking Lego pieces, and if you are a mom, you know Legos go everywhere, into shoes, into hats, you know, under, in, in socks. And it was really important for me to have shelving and a really strategic way to handle all of that clutter. So Jacinta was able to show me, you know, multiple shelving levels, let's put the Legos here, let's do the clothes over here, and my son was really able to follow that and live very well with dissecting the toy aspect from the clothing aspect. The install was super quick, um, they were, and because it was custom, they were able to navigate around an unlevel, a bit of an unlevel floor, and also a gas line that was in the ceiling. Um, and it only took like probably six hours, maybe less, to do the entire two rooms. So it was wonderful and at the end of the day, it was quick, it was easy, and there was no mess, and it was great. I wish I could show you the closets, unfortunately, or fortunately for me, um, the house sold in five days. We don't have the closets anymore, they're over there. And when people ask me, do you miss your house, I say no, but I miss my closets. I've got the unit uh, attached to the wall now and leveled, so I'm going to go ahead and start running the base trim and then I can do the doors and the drawers. Just finished up, I'm going to go ahead and get Carol. All right, Hunter, are you ready to see your new oh space? Oh my gosh, yes, finally. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Look anything like wow. we designed on paper? It, it does. And you know what? It's better than I imagined. It really is. Awesome. Well, you know what? Originally, I was like wanting the whole world. <laughs> but oh, it looks so great. I love all the touches. Yeah, and I think oh the two gosh. colors worked out great together. Uh, I love it. Works perfectly in here. The desk beautiful. actually fits. I know. <laughs> I know I we know. had some challenges with the slope and being able to walk through, but I, I think know. it I worked out walk. perfect. I'm not. Hit my head in there. <laughs> so wow. the, the tall cabinet worked out very well. It did. I uh, gives you a little bit more storage. I love it. I love the the width. Well, and you know what? When the sun hits that wood, God, it's beautiful. I love the materials that we chose. I love them. All right, so one of the bigger one of the bigger challenges that we had, we had to work around the air intake. Oh taking God, here. yes. Um, and Stuart was not. He was very <laughs> concerned about the air intake. I'm sure he was. It is uh, air needs to get through. It needs to circulate. And so, of course, what we did was we notched everything to go around it, so Stuart will still be able to lift the shelf up and oh, yeah, still yeah. switch the cool. uh, filter He's going to repaint that, because we had those hideous little shelves there, too. Nice, deep drawers. Love it. Perfect. Look at all this. Look how deep they are. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We took advantage of the, the depth that we did have here, and it brings it out closer to the front edge, so you don't 
bending too far yeah. down there to get stuck. And then the door was obviously yeah. a huge problem. I love the way you resolved it. Challenge. So now we so can... cool. That is really, have you all ever done anything like that before? No, I think that's a first. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, wow. So you'll be able to get in there and still use the storage, so still usable yeah. space, but it still gives you continuous that, that's surface That's what to I wanted. I really wanted a long, just long space. Because I'm always piling up papers on the floor and trying to look at things like that, and now I just have it in one long space. And my beautiful file cabinets. <laughs> nice, deep file drawers. Love it. That And that is more than enough. More than enough. <laughs> and so, and now over here, my record, this is where I yeah. plan to put my records, okay. my albums. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Yeah, because that was one of the things, too. I have we record couldn't remember if we put them there. We, or in one of them. the plans, we were going to put them there. <laughs> okay. That's turned into um, my bookcase. I think I've got a lot of flexibility here. I love that. I do, too. And I love that we added the doors and the, the, mm -hmm. glass, the insert matches what we have going on the other yeah. side, so that ties it all together. Love. Oh, my gosh. I just, I'm so thrilled. I love these little knobs too. I hope so because you picked them out. I know. <laughs> but to see them really on like really makes a difference. Yeah. Obviously I'm going to change the curtains out to now match my new scheme. So you have plenty of room for your sofa still yes, um, and room for an end table at either end so you'll be able to mm -hmm. give it some flexibility there. Yep. Place so for your TV. My clients will sit here and watch, we can view the final products of the videos that I have. And then of course we have your desk. Plenty of knee space, I plenty know. of room to move around. Right, so one of the things with the desk, I think worked out very well, was using, making the legs usable. And in this case, so we yes. have open on the one side, so you can put your books and stuff on that side. Fantastic idea. But on this side, it's just a leg for the table, for the desk mm -hmm. itself. And look how long it is. Ah, love it. Plenty of space to clutter up. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Come back in an hour, this big explosion yeah. of papers. Yeah. Um, of course, we've got drawers here. Cool. In full extension. So nice for my big. printer, you know, and everyone needs a junk drawer, you know, just hide away all your stuff. It's so weird on paper and conversationally. You know, even just looking at that CAD drawing, I was like, yeah, that'll work. But then when you came up and blue taped it out, right. it was like. And you found mm. just going to overpower the space a little bit too much. Yeah. And getting a chair in and out of there would have been a little challenging. Yeah, too. like with the space this big. Yeah. But this is all, but it still has that feel of what I wanted. I wanted, a, you know, kind of a cozy, chill out space as well. Right. I'm thrilled. I'm just thrilled. Oh, good. <laughs> I mean, I, you just outdid yourself. And well, I'm glad you're happy with it. Yeah, I am. I really am. I really am. It's, I now really understand what all the closet factory clients and designers <laughs> go through. It's so different on this side. Right. Really different to be a client, but it's been, you know, nothing but a joy working with you. It was a pleasure. Yeah, I want to give you a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I'm thrilled. They finished. Nick installed this by himself. It looks absolutely remarkable. Um, way, way better than I imagined. Carol's fantastic to work with. Um, I adore Closet Factory and everyone that works there anyway because I've produced their show for two years. Um, but now being a client, I, and I'm just like a solid fan, big time. I love Closet Factory, Nick, Carol. You guys are amazing, and I cannot wait to start filling this office with my stuff. Stuart will be very happy about that too, because it'll be out of his garage <laughs> and into my office, and um, I'm ready to start working in my new office. Thanks, Closet Factory. All right, so another great install. Nick did an awesome job. We had a few challenges that we had to work around, but Nick is awesome. He handled them like a pro, like he always does. And with Homerama going on, we had some challenges trying to fit it in. But as you can see, we got it all done. Hunter's very happy. And I'm on to the next project. I just finished up at Hunter's house. Everything went really good. Um, we had a couple small issues, but we were able to uh, get those taken care of and everything's finished up.